Hello guys, welcome to Tech Vitals. Today we are going to learn how to allow and deny certain IP address to connect to our Linux machine. That is, we can allow certain IP address from connecting to our virtual machine and we can also deny some other IP addresses so that they cannot connect to our virtual machine even if they have the password or the public key. So let's get started. So here we have two virtual machines. First one is SSH1 and the second one is SSH2. So using the SSH command, we can connect from this SSH1 machine to SSH2 machine. So let's connect from this SSH1 machine to SSH2. Let's use the SSH. And since we have a new port number of SSH in the SSH2 machine, we have to use this minus P attribute. Then we are logging in using the John user and then the IP address. Now if we give the password of John, then we are logged in into SSH2 machine using the user John. So here we are able to connect from SSH1 to SSH2 using the SSH command. Now let's exit and in the SSH2 machine, we can determine which IP address is allowed to connect in this SSH2 machine and which IP address are not. So to allow and deny the IP address, we can go to the SSH configuration file. So let's edit the configuration file of SSH. Go to the bottom and let's add some rules. So I'm going to call it my rule. Okay. And now we can use allow users asterisk at the rate 192.168.7.177. That is the IP address of this SSH1 machine. So here we are saying that let's allow this IP address to connect to this SSH2 machine and the asterisk means that this IP address can connect to this SSH2 machine through any user that is they can either log in with the user John or they can also log in with the user root or any other users that we have in this SSH2 machine. So if we save this rule in this configuration file then only this IP address will be allowed to connect to this SSH2 machine and no other IP address will able to connect in this SSH2 machine. So if we save it and restart the SSH service since this IP address is allowed to connect to this machine we will not have any problem to connect to our SSH2 machine so we can either log in as the John user or we can also log in as the root user or we can also log in with any other users that is the user in SSH2 machine but we need to know the password of that user so let's exit and now let's make changes in this configuration file so let's go to that SSHD underscore config file again let's go to the bottom and here if we change this asterisk with John so here we are saying that this IP address is allowed to connect to this machine with the user John only so we will not be able to connect to this SSH2 machine with any other users like root or any other users we can only log in in this SSH2 machine with the user John so let's save it and let's restart the SSHD service. Okay, so earlier when we tried to connect to our SSH2 machine using the user John and root, we were able to connect to our SSH2 machine with both users. But since we have made some changes and now we are only able to connect to our SSH2 machine using the John user, if we try to connect 
to this machine using the root user let's see what happens let's type the password of root user as you can see it said permission denied so even if you know the password of root we are not able to log in as the root user in that SSH2 machine so let's stop this process press the control Z but we can still log in as the John user so let's try to log in as John let's give the password of John and as you can see we are able to log in in this SSH2 machine using the user John okay now let's make some more changes let's go back to our configuration file so now let's change this IP address so let's make it 170 so now what we are saying is the machine with this IP address 192.168.7.170 is only able to connect to our SSH2 machine through the user John and if we save it then as you can see the IP address of our SSH1 machine is 192.168.7.177 which is different from the IP address here that is allowed to connect to our SSH2 machine so if we save this rule so let's save it and let's restart the SSHD service okay so here we are already connected in SSS2 machine so let's exit from there and now if we try to connect back to the SSS2 machine we will not be able to connect to the SSS2 because this IP address is not allowed to connect to that machine so let's try to connect so let's type the password of John And as you can see now the permission is denied so the only way we can connect to SSH2 machine is we have to change this IP address to 7.170 okay so now let's go back to our SSH2 machine let's go to the configuration file here we can also add IP addresses that are allowed to connect to the SSH2 machine so we can add another IP address followed by space let's type root at the rate 192.168.7.177 so this 7.177 is the IP address of our SSH1 machine and here what we are saying is now this IP address is allowed to connect to this SSH2 machine but only as a root user so we still cannot connect to SSH2 machine with the user John because it is allowed to log in with the user root only so let's save it and let's restart the SSSD service okay now we can log in into our SSH2 machine from SSH1 machine but only as a root user so if you go to our SSH1 machine let's clear the screen and if you try to log in to SSH2 as the user John even if you know the password of John the permission will be denied but we can log in as the root user so if you type the password of root then you can see we are inside this SSH2 machine through the user root okay now let's see some more options so let's go back to our configuration file so here just two IP addresses are allowed that is 192.168.7.170 and 192.168.7.177 so here if we just delete all of this and let's say asterisk at the rate 192.168.7. Asterisk. Here, what we are saying is 
all the computers or all the machines whose IP address starts with 192.168.7 are allowed to connect to this SSH2 machine. So the three sections of IP address must be 192.168.7 and the last section can be anything. So it can be either 7.180, 7.190, 7.200, anything all of them can connect to sss2 machine because they starts with 192.168.7 and since our sss1 machine its ip address also starts with 192.168.7 we can connect from this sss1 to sss2 and since here is a asterisk in the beginning that means we can log in with any user that is we can also log in as root user or we can also log in as zone user or any other user of sss2 machine so that way we can allow all the ip addresses that are in the range of 192.168.7 and if we change this 7 into asterisk as well so now all the ip address that starts with 192.168 can connect to this sss2 machine so the first two sections must be 192.168 and this last two sections can be anything it can be either 7.177 or 8.177 or 9.177 or anything just first two sections must be 192.168 and let's say if we make all of these sections asterisk now any computer with any IP address can connect to this SSS2 machine with any user in this machine so with this rule we are allowing all the computers to connect to this sss2 machine and let's say if we change this asterisk into john so now all the computers can connect to this sss2 machine only as the user john so they cannot connect using the root user or any other user they have to know the password of john user to be able to connect to this sss2 machine so this is one of the powerful features of SSH. You can select which IP address or which range of IP address can connect to your Linux machine and through which user you can log in into your Linux machine. I hope you enjoyed this video and that's gonna do it for this video. I'll see you soon with the next video. Till then, keep learning. Goodbye.